as our homes become smarter, everyday tasks are getting easier and more efficient. Imagine walking through the door and the lights automatically turn on, or the blinds opening when the sun comes out. All of this made possible by a well-designed wiring system. But here's the thing, setting up a smart home isn't just about buying cool gadgets. You need the right wiring and circuit preparations to make everything work seamlessly. Hello dear eDrawers, welcome to Wondershare eDraw Soft Channel. In today's tutorial, we'll dive into how to create a smart home automation wiring diagram for your home or your client and employer, helping you build a smarter, more organized space. Whether it's controlling your lights with your phone or automating your thermostat, smart homes are the future. We'll show you how to plan and design a smart home wiring diagram and cover everything from the basics of smart home setups to creating professional wiring diagrams using eDrawMax. A wiring diagram is a detailed visual representation of the electrical connections in a system. It shows how devices, wires, and components are interconnected, making it easier to plan, install, and troubleshoot your setup. Why is this so important for smart homes? Well, a smart home is essentially a network of devices, like lights, sensors, cameras, and controllers, that need to communicate with each other. Without a clear wiring diagram, it's easy to get lost in the connections, leading to mistakes, inefficiencies, or even safety hazards. For example, imagine trying to install a smart lighting system without a diagram. You might accidentally connect the wrong wires, overload a circuit, or even damage your devices. A wiring diagram can help you avoid these issues by providing a clear roadmap for your project. In short, a wiring diagram is your best friend when it comes to designing and setting up a smart home. Every wiring diagram uses a set of standard symbols to represent different components. By understanding these symbols, you will be able to read and create wiring diagrams with ease. Here are some of the most common ones you will encounter. Number one, power sources. These are represented by symbols like a battery or a circle with a plus and minus sign. They show where the electrical power is coming from. Number two, wires and cables. Wires are shown as straight lines and different types of wires like power, data, or ground wires are often color-coded or labeled. Number three, devices and components. Each device in your smart home, like a light switch, sensor, or controllers, has its own symbol. For example, a light bulb might be represented by a circle with an X inside, while a sensor could be shown as a small rectangle with a wave symbol. Number four, grounding. This is represented by a symbol that looks like an upside down tree. Grounding is essential for safety and it prevents electrical shocks. Since we've learned the basics, let's go to eDraw Max and create an automation project for our sweet smart home. Whether you're a designer or an experienced DIY enthusiast, this step-by-step -step guide will help you design a clear and professional wiring diagram. Step one, open eDraw Max and choose a template. To get started, open eDrawMax and click on New. From there, select Electrical Diagram to start making your wiring diagram from scratch. Or if you want to get a head start, you can find a variety of templates from wiring diagrams. For this tutorial, we'll start from scratch, but feel free to explore the templates if you want. Step 2. Add components to your diagram. So, we're now on a blank canvas. To start creating your wiring diagram, we first start by looking for the components we need. Click on the Symbols icon on the left side of the screen. We can see a library of symbols. Look for the necessary electrical symbols you need. For a smart home automation project, you might include components like motion sensors, smart lights, and a central controller. Click Add to my workbench to add it to your symbol library. Step number three, connect the components. Next, you can simply drag and drop the component you need onto the canvas. And then it's time to connect the components. Click on the connector icon at the top of the screen or use the round dots on each component to drag and create connections. Make sure to follow the logical flow of your system. For example, connect the motion sensor to the controller and then the controller to the smart lights.
Step four, label and organize your diagram. Label each component and connection to ensure clarity. For instance, label the pins on your Arduino or the type of wire being used. Example, 12 volt, round, etc. You can also use different colors or line styles to differentiate between power lines, data lines, and control lines. Step 5. Adjust and finalize. Once all the components are connected and labeled, use the alignment tools to evenly space out the components and ensure the diagram is easy to read. You can also deselect rulers and guidelines for a cleaner look. Step 6. Save and export. Once you have completed the wiring diagram, you can save it for later edits or online sharing. To save a file, click on File, then go to Export and save it as commonly used file types such as Excel, Word or PDF. Next, let's dive into real-world examples to see how these diagrams work in practice. You will be able to understand smart home automation wiring diagrams through these examples. This diagram shows the physical connections and wiring required to set up a smart home system using IoT technology. This circuit uses a Node MCU, ESP32 microcontroller, a relay module, and a wireless connection to control devices like lights, a fan, and a TV. Here's how it works. Power supply. The ESP32 is powered by a 5V DC battery, while home appliances run on 220V AC. Wireless control. The ESP32 connects to the internet and communicates with a user interface, allowing remote control for appliances from a mobile app or computer. The relay acts as an electrical switch. When the ESP32 sends a signal, the relay turns the connection appliances on or off. Safety protection. A circuit breaker is added to prevent short circuits or electrical overloads, keeping the system safe. With this setup, you can control home devices remotely using Wi-Fi, making your home smarter and more convenient. Next, let's look at another example of the home automation wiring diagram. This diagram focuses on the electrical circuitry that is designed for wireless control of household appliances using an Arduino UNO, Bluetooth module, and relay system. It shows how components like sensor Relays and microcontrollers are wired together to automate tasks. Let's break it down step by step. Power supply management. First, a 12V battery provides power to the Arduino and connected modules, ensuring seamless operation. Wireless communication. Then a Bluetooth module enables remote control via a smartphone app, eliminating the need for manual switches. Sensor-driven automation. An IR sensor detects motion, allowing automated control of lights and fans for an efficient, hands-free experience. Relay-based switching. The relay modules act as electronic switches, controlling lights, fans, and other appliances based on user commands. This intelligent home automation system showcases how Bluetooth technology can transform traditional appliances into smart, responsive devices, offering convenience, efficiency, and modern home control. This type of diagram is essential for electricians, engineers, or DIY enthusiasts who want to build or troubleshoot home automation systems. For more wiring diagram examples, visit our template community. Check out the link in the description below. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for joining us in this step-by-step -step guide to creating smart home automation wiring diagrams with Wondershare eDrawmax. We've covered everything from the basics of labeling components and connecting wires to designing scalable systems for IoT devices like sensors, relays, and controllers all illustrated with real-world case studies to show how effective a wiring diagram can simplify your projects. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new Dramax tutorial. If there is other topics about wiring or other types of diagram you would like us to tackle, drop a comment below to let us know. See you until the next one.